Just like learning any other skill, pilots must begin with learning the fundamentals of flight before moving on to more advanced maneuvers and skills. The four fundamentals of flight are the building blocks necessary to develop the skills needed to be a great aviator. The four fundamentals of flight that must be developed first are straight and level flight, turns, climbs, and descents. This video will explain the fourth fundamental of flight, descents. When a pilot puts an aircraft into a descent, their altitude will decrease. Just like straight and level flight, sight pictures are used to determine if the aircraft is in a descent. When a pilot begins a descent from straight and level flight, they neutralize their ailerons and smoothly reduce the throttle to the desired power setting. In epic Cessna 172s, this is between 1800 and 2100 RPMs and allows the aircraft to be in slowing down to the desired descent speed. The reductive power will cause the aircraft's nose to smoothly pitch down. The pilot catches the desired descent airspeed by applying a slight back elevator pressure to control the descent and keep it from increasing. The pilot then increases the trim wheel to alleviate any unnecessary control wheel pressures and to maintain their desired descent speed. Now the pilot moves their focus to the outside of the aircraft to ensure they maintain the descent while flying straight. Looking through the windscreen while in a descent, the horizon will rise above the glare shield on the instrument panel. The pilot should choose a faraway object, such as a building, road, body of water, cloud, or other terrain as an aiming point to remain on a straight flight path during the descent. The object should not move left or right on the windscreen while in a straight descent. Looking at each wing, the trailing edge should be farther away from the horizon than the leading edge. But the left and right wing's trailing edges should be the same distance from the horizon to maintain a straight flight path. If the horizon moves to the center of the windscreen or below the glare shield, the aircraft is no longer in a descent. Looking at the wings, if the leading and trailing edge of the wings are parallel or the trailing edge of the wing is closer to the horizon, the aircraft is no longer in a descent. If in a level descent, if one wing is closer to the horizon, the aircraft is turning in the direction of the lower wing. The pilot must correct the sight pictures to continue to climb. After referencing the necessary sight pictures, the pilot scans their instruments to cross-check they are in a straight descent. Their airspeed and heading should remain constant. Their attitude indicator should show a descent, but no turn. Their inclinometer, or slip skid indicator, should show the aircraft is coordinated, and their vertical speed should be negative. After the instrument scan is complete, the pilot begins scanning their sight pictures again. This process is continuous throughout the flight. It is important that pilots spend 90% of their flight time scanning outside of the aircraft for traffic, terrain, and weather, and 10% of the time inside of the cockpit scanning instruments and doing other tasks. Pilots can also use the elevator trim to alleviate any excessive control wheel pressures during a descent. As the pilot approaches the desired altitude in a descent, they need to prepare to level off and enter straight and level flight. To do this, the pilot should reference their vertical speed, which is displayed on the vertical speed indicator instrument. This instrument displays climbs and descent rates in feet per minute. A rule of thumb for smooth transition from a descent to straight and level flight is to begin leveling off before the target altitude by 10% of the aircraft's current vertical speed. For example, if a pilot wanted to level off at 2,000 feet and sees their vertical speed indicator is displaying a 500 foot per minute descent, the pilot should begin leveling the aircraft at 10% of 500 feet, which is 50 feet, before the target altitude of 2,000 feet, which is 2,050 feet. As this altitude is reached, the pilots smoothly advance their throttle to the appropriate cruise power, which is around 2300 RPM in epic Cessna 172s. After the pilot has leveled the aircraft at their target altitude, they begin configuring their aircraft for straight and level flight. The throttle is set for cruise power settings, and the pilot uses the sight pictures, instrument cross-check, and necessary elevator trim to maintain a straight and level flight attitude. As a pilot becomes familiar with straight descents, they should start adding turns to their descents. Turning descents will incorporate both the sight pictures and instrument cross-checks of descents and turns, as well as the rollout and level off techniques. For more information on the second fundamental of flight, turns, please view the turns video in this series. Student pilots should practice entering descents, maintaining straight and turning descents at different air speeds and vertical speeds, as well as leveling off at desired altitudes from descents until this skill becomes natural. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.